technology. Hello, today we're going to take a look at the Windows 10 technical preview. Now everything was fine. Windows 7 just did the job, people were living with it in harmony and it was all perfect. But Microsoft had to change that and they introduced the master, Windows 8 and people just hated that. A lot of people hated that. Of course, me included. They hated the new startup menu. And people were like this. No, 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 no. Then came Windows 8.1 and it brought back the option to boot straight into the desktop instead of having to go through that all. And people started to reconsider. And now we have Windows 10. So let's look at it. Now to get this out of the way, in order to get Windows 10 technical preview you have to go to the link in the description and follow the instructions written on the Microsoft site. Now this of course is better and in the official release many things might change. Now the start menu is back and it has a combined look of Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. You have your normal shutdown buttons and you can also pin or do whatever you you did in the start menu of the Windows 8 and you have the normal layout of the icons on the left and also you can change it to the Windows 8 UI by just clicking on one button. Throughout the UI we can see a kind of futuristic look. Now the full screen apps that were very annoying and frustrating they were resized or they are resized to uh, normal desktop apps and there's still some confusing things like two control panels and I have no idea when they're going to fix that but I'm sure they will do that. Another thing is the icons. Some are good, some are terrible. And there's this feature called multiple desktops where you basically can have a lot of desktops at one time. So from the taskbar at the bottom, you open a new desktop. Now the idea is that if you're working in this workspace, okay, and you're opening applications here, you just switch to the other desktop which has a clean workspace and nothing else in it. And then uh, you can have more than one desktop and each desktop, for example, this desk desktop has the pictures that you want to import, the other desktop would have, for example, the editing programs, the other desktop would have, would have the Twitter stream. So in this way, you kind of organize everything that you've got working on. Next up is Cortana. Now Cortana is a virtual assistant just like Siri and Google Now. However, it's more like Siri because it can answer you and it can joke with you and you can just simply uh, have a small conversation with it. You can ask it questions and it will answer them. Now the Cortana is present in the taskbar at the bottom. You can use voice or you can type on the keyboard to interact with Cortana. Then you have Project Spartan. So Project Spartan is basically the replacement of the Internet Explorer. It's much more like Chrome, which is a big deal and a good thing because it's faster, snappier than the Internet Explorer. Anyways, I'm gonna look at the HTML5 test results right now and you can compare it with other browsers. However, this is just a kind of, as we said, the beta thing, so I'm really excited to see the final version of this browser and if it will make us change from Chrome to this. Microsoft is talking about integrating Project Spartan and Cortana, so if you search about the weather, you will have some, like a card, like a Google card, and you would see the information of the weather. There's this doodling thing that if you press on it, and you can doodle basically in the web browser. So thank you very much for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed this video and as always please if you like this video like this video, if you do not dislike it and be free to leave your opinions or in the comments below. And for more contents like this please subscribe, goodbye.